We're here at the bank, Burbank. This is rolling with FD and I'm FD. Let's go cut to the chase and tell you what's happening here. I'm, I'm really excited about this because it's the first time I've re ever really done it. I bought some top strong cars in 2003, LeBron's rookie year. Pulled a lot of stuff out of that. Had it in storage for 18 years. Pulled it out recently. Saw a car that I really want to invest in right now. And I'm going to let y'all know what that card is later. But I brought everything that I had that was LeBron, a Kobe rookie, over here to Burbank. Try to get some cash out value. Or at least get the value of them. So today, we're going to go in, pull out all the cars that I have. Some LeBron rookies, Top Strong, Bowman, a Kobe, uh, Top Finest rookie. We're going to pull all that stuff out and see what the values of them are. And see if we can come to some kind of an agreement. And see if I can cash out something that's going to help me pay for another car in my PC, in my collection. New to FD very different. I had this idea the other day. I want this card, special card. How do I go about getting it? Let me cash out and see what I can do. So here we go. Who's rolling with FD? Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. What? Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. Talk to him. I'm excited to be back at Burbank. Haven't been here since our first show. As I walk in, I gotta remember my strategy. I'm here to sell a car to buy a potential big car from a PC. So right now, I'm about to talk to the GOAT and get introduced to the process of how we get cars evaluated and hopefully something sold. Hi guys, how, how you doing? doing? How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, good to see you. Okay, so he'll, he'll take a look, and in the meantime, you know, yes, we'll they around. call your name. Yes, sir. You have I know a you're the mastermind. It's a Cameron. pleasure to meet you. I've never met you. You never? Oh, my it's God. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, that's my son and my yeah. grandson. Yeah. Ryan is hey, Ryan's actually over there. Over there. Yeah. I, over there. I met Rob and Ryan. Before. Yeah, so this is Ryan's office here. Okay, yes, sir. He's the buying machine. Yes, sir. And then Rob's office is over there. Okay. Mine is in the bathroom. All right. You know, that's why they put that in there, but, you know. So anyway, so... The, uh, you we'll know, just, we'll just browse around. We don't browse. Yes, don't go run. ahead and then we'll call, we'll call your name. Thank you, okay. sir. Appreciate All good. you. Good Thank to you. see you. The bowl. So while we're waiting, G and I are going to look around and look in cases later to look at cars, notice uh, the stock that they have here for car supplies, and then we notice the fishbowl. How's it sorted? Let's look at how it's sorted. Oh, it's by player. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Uh, nice. Lucas, Tom, Brady. It's always a unique place, man. Justin Jefferson, Red. <laughs> Look at the organization. Herbert, Mahomes, little Brady action. Burrow, more Burrow. Oh, look at that. Brady again. Josh Allen, my trail. That's a car right there. I have yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing, bro? I'm doing good. Oh, my first car looks cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. That's a pretty damn cool stack of cards. Yeah. Let me find my ace. Ray, I want you to take care, good care of this man. All right. He's got some raw cards for you, okay? Alright. All right. Thank you, bro. You got it. What's your name? Red. Oh, yeah. Red? Okay. Okay. Don't worry about it. So, nice. Top scrum? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. I just want to price on each and then see what I want to sell. Okay. Um, we're definitely interested. However, just to let you know, um, I'm going to look up what, what the non graded cars are going roughly, and we'd be, be a buyer like 80% of that. So let's say you know, let's say it's like fifteen hundred. You know, we'd, we'd pay you anywhere from like like twelve hundred around there. So just kind of give you an idea. Okay. I mean, obviously. I kind of anticipated that. The, I know this would be a higher percentage than most. Yeah. Yeah. So this this is for sure. Yeah. At least around there. Tops. I mean, I'm gonna do a quick look. Obviously, I want I just make sure that there's nothing, like no major flaw in yeah, the card, yeah. but you should be good. Yeah, I respect all of them. Same thing, same thing with that. Let me just see what I can find on the top scrum. Yep. And then, uh, you have to be Take your time, sir. All these cards when they came out were ripped and put. Were you, were you, did you pull it yourself? Yeah. Nice. Well, this is 2003, bro. That's amazing. 
Have you ever considered grading any of it? Or? Yeah, I was considering grading all of them, but then I saw another card. So then I wanted to see uh, what these were valued at. Okay. And whatever I don't sell, we'll go to grade. Gotcha, gotcha. The thing with us, we um, we offer 75, 80% cash. If you want to do store credit, it's going to be like 10% more. So you're basically going to get Understood. pretty close to what it's sold for if you do store credit. Un Understood. Yeah. Yeah, like that stuff, everything is just kind of like based off condition, you know, it's all condition oh, yeah. wise. Oh, yeah. Is there a number you're looking for on the chromes? I'm looking at eBay, somewhere around like 2000. Right, right. I think. Okay, okay. Let's see some stuff sell on eBay for like 23 recently. Mm -hmm. Raw. Okay. These are pretty, pretty clean copies. I'm not gonna lie. I'm saying, as soon as I broke them, like that's, that's, that's amazing. Trading. I always knew when I was younger that conditioning, even before grading, was gonna be important. Right, right. Especially on big name guys. Are you, are you from around here or? I grew up in Chicago. Chicago, okay. So all these were pulled did, in Chicago. Did you, did you go to nationals this yeah. year? Nice, yeah. nice. Did you get anything? Oh, we picked up a trial on car auto, nice. Julio Jones car, booklet, okay. a few other things. Nice, nice. Okay. I'll give you numbers on these four for sure. And then, I mean, on all these. And then uh, this one, I'll do this last and I'll, I'll ask if any of you give me a set. So that's that. Okay. Uh, is there any, let me know how far off on some of them. Um, I value like most of those just kind of by condition. And if it's raw or not. What did you see on that? Uh, around two. Like two, that's what I'm looking at. What did you see the condition was on that? Pretty decent? It's pretty decent. But um, I'm basing it off as a raw sale. I mean, I don't see any raw sale that's higher than 200. And I base it off like around 180 to 200 as well. This is the last one I'm seeing, you know, like yours is a cleaner copy. So obviously I would go a little bit on the upside. Like if, if I see a sale at 300, I would go close to 300, but I just don't see any any other sales at that. I mean, like I said, if, if there's anything that we're closed or we're too far off, let me know. I'll see, I'll see what I can do. I'll get a second opinion and see what's the best we can get. But like that would be like that's where we would be at right now. Okay. With that. And then um, for these, I'll have to ask my boss what he thinks on the cards. Like kind of check condition too. Can I show these? Oh yeah. Let me see. Let me ask. Bye, brother. Yeah, would probably be uh, 1500 a piece if you want to take all of them. And then if you want to do store credit, we're at 1650 That's where it'd be at. We're going to cash that one out. Cool. Is there anything else? The rest. Okay. Uh, how far off are we on most of it? It's just an opportunity of what you do with the car. I mean, you can, if I get them graded, which, okay. then, then you price them, maybe more. Oh, yeah, for you know sure, for sure. I mean, so this is still in the zone of interpretation. And, gotcha. But I think I can move that one. Okay. No, let's do that. You good with that? Yeah, that's cool with me. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate you. Let me get you the Bro, cash right now. I appreciate you, man. Gotcha. Get you the cash right now. Yeah. Okay, you ready, sir? Yes, sir. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. Okay. Good man. I gotta get a picture with you. Now that was exciting. That was amazing. It was good to be able to come in, cash out a LeBron James Topps Chrome rookie card for a particular value that I'm gonna again throw back into a pot to pay for another car. And I promise you, the other card is special. You may be asking yourself, why would FD sell a LeBron James Chrome rookie card? Is he crazy? I don't think so. But if once you see the new card, if you think I am, put in the comments, man, you, you, you're crazy for doing that. But I don't think so. We're going goat for goat on this one. Goat for goat. So now I wanted to break down to you why I made the decision to go to Burbank and what card I purchased. And what strategy did I go through? Because in my opinion, making sales of cards and purchases of cards at a certain level, you should have a strategy. Really, you should have it all of the time. But for this card, I'll tell you this. The card that I'm going to purchase that I have purchased is a gold player. This is a player that has changed the game of basketball overall without question. Also, this card that I'm buying is a low pop card. It's a BGS 9.5 with only a population of 16. And the player's card, in my opinion, is still undervalued, meaning there's more room for that card to grow. In my humble opinion, a lot of LeBron James cards and Kobe Bryant's cards, I talk to other collectors, they're not even buying them. 
these teams are kind of oversaturated. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go out and buy Kobe and LeBron, but always know the players that there's way more room. There's a larger room for growth, the potential for growth for the car than some of the cars that may be popular in today's market. That's what I'm saying. Also, what helped this decision is that I bought the LeBron James rookie card back in 2003 when it first came out. So my buy-in was low, quite low. It's not like I bought the car today at a higher value in the marketplace. I bought it when LeBron first came out, when he had a lot of potential. When a lot of people were talking about, uh, we think this guy's gonna be a, a great player, which helped my decision in selling the car. So without further ado, let me show you what card I purchased. Whew. I want everybody to see this. This is a 2009-2010 certified mirror red Steph Curry card with a patch of jersey back when they had real jerseys in the card and an auto. Great card of a great player. As soon as I saw this card on eBay, I wanted to make a move on this card. I believe it's still undervalued. It's a hard card to pull. You don't see these when you go to shows. At least I haven't seen it when I went out to a show. So I looked at it as a, a, as a great card. Also on the back, you can see this a short print. It's only out of 100. So if you're out at a card show and you're looking at a card that's a short print, something like this, out of 25, out of 50, out of five, you know that if you get that car graded and it's a high grade and the car looks clean, corners look right, surface looks good, it's going to be an even lower pop card. So this knocked down with the 9.5 and a 10 auto from a population of 100 because that's all the cars that were made of this type. There were 100 Steph Curry's mirror red 2009-2010 certified made that year. But with the grade, it knocks it down to a 16 pop. So when you get to these cars, to me, any car that's great, start asking yourself, what is the population? Here with BGS, you can look up the population of the car on their site, uh, look through population. But on their site, you have to key this in exactly the, the way it reads on the car. Exactly, letter for letter, number for number. On PSA, you can scan a QR code on the back, or if it's an older car, you can get on their website and look the card up. They also have a number on the card that is unique to the card that you're looking at. And you can look up populations. Or you can type in PSA certification. And that will take you to the website where you can put type in a number yourself and look up populations. But populations are very important. So you all let me know in the comments, would you have sold a LeBron James rookie card? 2003 Topps Chrome that was off-centered, pretty good amount, like greatly off-centered. Would you have sold that raw for this card, graded, low pop, Steph Curry, very much undervalued? I'd love to hear what you think, but this is in the PC. And let me, and let me show you who was in the PC for. This card is in the PC for my man, Junior. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. And tonight we saw Curry drop over 40 points. He hit eight threes in the game, went eight to 13 from three point line. He has a great young t team running with him on the court. I heard a stat tonight that was very much crazy. Steph Curry has hit eight threes in 63 games in his career, while Reggie Miller has hit eight threes in two games in his career. Now, I know the NBA is totally different now than what it used to be as far as shooting threes. But this young man on this card has changed the NBA. Do you want to say, you want to say goodbye to the people? Goodbye. Goodbye. Peace. Peace. I don't know what dude think he parked. What what was do by park? Let's, let's check this out together, people. It's almost like watching a game from the sideline. How's this going to work out? Yeah, we took it back to the street.